Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Today we are going to be playing the T28, the PBV301, the SAV M-43 from 1944, that's World War II type, and the SPJ FM-4344. I believe that is another date. These vehicles all have their certain strengths and weaknesses, which is one of Sweden's very strong parts actually. Many tech trees in the same VR will use the same design over and over and over. Or as we can see from Sweden, they have a Russian vehicle, their anti-air is very, very unconventional. And then they have two tank destroyers that are extremely different from each other. Uh, one is very open and the other is not so open. Of course, only from there is, is it open and that's the high explosive trap. Which, by the way, if you're having trouble, if you're struggling to pen these things, bring some high explosive. You hit it right in there, the entire tank dies. But yeah, this is the entirety of the lineup I will be playing today. And I had some wonderful times with this. This is a rerun of my intro that I'm going to make. And it was absolutely hilarious how well I did and how much fun you guys are going to have watching this video. So please go down, hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to hit a thousand before the end of next month, September. If I do that or yeah, I'm trying to hit a thousand by next month, uh, the end of next month. If we do hit a thousand in six days, 12 hours, I will spend all the silver I have right now on travel suitcases. If we don't, I guess I'll just buy another vehicle for myself and keep making videos like this. So yeah, let's hop straight into the gameplay and have a wonderful time. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing ran off a freaking two-stroke engine. It's so slow. Oh, this to run. But yes, we were able to pen his side of the turret and even front through the machine gun port. And because of our insanely high fire rate, he was pretty much defenseless to our attacks, which is good for me, bad for him. Well, now we do have a doom cannon. Oh, that's an enemy, I think. It is an M3 Lee. We just got doomed. Domed, I guess you could say. <laughs> right, does not matter. That was a full on freaking M4A3. I am very blind. Ooh. Right next to his ammo, boys. One of the great things about this meatball tank is that your gun is pretty much reloadable instantly. There goes the poor M16. Check out those stats right there. Six ground kills. I got one with the uh, with the PVV, but the rest of them were with the awesome meatball.
Who just shot at me? What is that? Another Swedish vehicle? It was. And we're getting shot at from the top of this hill. That's not acceptable. He made it through our armor, though. Unfortunate. He's done. We just sniped him. We clipped him. Okay, I only want to fight one of these guys at a time. Okay, that's the big French boy. That guy actually might be Swedish and might have APDS. He definitely does. Oh, he killed that breach. He's dead, so now we have only the French boy. Please don't misfire. Please don't misfire. We're gonna just misfire it out, huh? Okay, we hit his weak spot, finally. Although now we've got Artie. Clipped. Crap. In my opinion, you're always a second too slow in this AA. See, like, just absolutely infernal. Well, that was a little bit closer than I wanted it to be. Blip, blip. There's one guy down. A little short. We're going to raise our aim a little bit. Don't move, please. And he's dead. So the next thing I'm going to have to deal with is a I did not guess the 2C best in Pan and M3 Lee. Yeah, I did not guess the 2C best in M3 Lee, unfortunately. And the Panzer 3J that I was guessing got us in the end. He got us twice, actually. That's pretty bad. I'm not sure we have any chance in this battle, so let's hit the stats. Yeah, 3,000. We did extremely well compared to our team, but unfortunately, their team did better overall. As you can see, their lowest guy with over 1,000 is sitting right next to our guy with 489 points. So obviously, we had a lot of guys leave because of spawn camp, and they just didn't want to hold, whereas if I held in. And we won off of spawn camp pretty much. A lot of the time, spawn camp can actually help you. So that is one example of, of a battle where sp the spawn camp actually helped me a decent amount. Unfortunately, even though I had a wonderful time, all videos have to end somewhere. And this video is coming to a close.
I hope you guys really enjoyed the low tier gameplay of Sweden as it was absolutely wonderful for me. And if you did, please go down, drop a like. If you have not quite yet subscribed, please do that. I know it's rather annoying when I ask you guys to subscribe, but it's something that I have to do in order to try and get to a point where I can continue making videos for you guys, even as my time becomes less and less. Pretty much as I get older and older, my time is going to get less and less. And unless I get to a point where YouTube can actually be a functional job, I unfortunately will reach a point where making videos will become something I can't do anymore, which is very unfortunate. I would love to keep making videos. So if you want to see me keep making videos, go hit that subscribe button. And yeah, I hope you really got, I hope you guys have enjoyed as much as I enjoyed playing it with the PBV 301, the T28, the Sav M slash 43, and the meatball launcher that you guys can currently see right now with the weird women decals on the side of it. So yeah, Garda 3D, peace out. Thanks for watching.